Hey, good morning, San Diego and La Jolla, California. This is Justin Brennan logging in for another video blog. So I have a lot of clients asking me, you know, Justin, how is the market in San Diego? Well, I have to respond, that depends. Are you buying, selling, investing, or renting? And everything is localized. So I know everybody's seen the headlines recently, existing home sales drop by 27% and blah, 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 blah. But they don't get into the details as to why that actually happened. Okay, everything is in the rear. All the data we get is always in the rears by about two to three months. Okay, so what happened in April and May that would have caused such a spike in existing home sales, but then a, a sudden drop off? The federal tax credit expired. So everybody that was off on the fence to buy rushed to the off the fence to purchase by that deadline so they could get the tax credit. So you got a huge surge in buying and then all of a sudden as soon as that ended everybody dropped off and went back on the fence. So that's why you've seen this drastic change all of a sudden in the existing home sales nationally. And then more locally in San Diego we're about 13% off in total homes sold where we were from this point last year. Okay talking about prices and inventory levels, okay? We're about 12% year over year from last year to this year and increase, price increases from last year over this year. So that's a positive. Inventory wise, I'm gonna pop up a chart right now and this is a really, really good chart because it, what it's gonna show you is months of supply of inventory on the market in San Diego per price point because everything is based on the price ranges. For example, an average market is six months. If you look at anything under 300,000, it's flying off the market, you can't even keep it. You have three months of supply. What's jumping out at you, of course, is the million two and above. You have about 26 and change, about 27 months of supply. So what does that mean? It means if you're trying to sell your home in that market, my La Jolla sellers, unfortunately, you're facing a declining market, so you have to be a market setter. You cannot be a market follower. If you're gonna follow the market down, you're gonna take your equity and you're gonna give it to your neighbor who just sold their house because they set the market. And that's what's gonna happen. You have to price it competitively, have it show impeccably, and market it properly, it'll get sold. If you're looking to buy in those price points, you have some fantastic opportunities and lots of inventory to choose from. That prime price range is that six to 900,000 mark, where you're gonna see you got about seven months of supply, a little bit above average, some stuff is stabilizing, some stuff is still declining, and in some cases, some stuff is appreciating. So that's kind of your prime price point right now in San Diego. If you look at the foreclosure market, we're steady at about 1,500 to 2,000, 2,500 foreclosures on average per month that are continuing through the marketplace. If you look at the 22,000 houses that we have on the market right now in San Diego, 22,000 homes roughly, okay? Only 1,900 of those are bank-owned foreclosures. 70 to 75% of that 22,000 are short sales. So what you've seen happen over the last several months and through this year is everything shifted from foreclosures to short sales and deeds in lieu. And it's gonna continue that way through the rest of this year. We'll see what happens in the first quarter of 2011. Um, regarding economics, they say that Americans are continuing to deleverage their credit, revolving lines of credit, credit cards, all that other stuff, at about a 9% on average, 9% rate decline, which is good news. What you're really seeing happen is people file bankruptcy chapter seven, um, which is a viable option for those that have tons of unsecured lines of credit and revolving lines and all that stuff and they can't get out of it. It's a viable option, but that's really why you're seeing the deleveraging in, in the credit in the United States is simply because a lot of people are filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy under that protection code. Um, so that's kind of what you're seeing going on. So in summary, what does this mean for everybody and what's going to happen moving into the fourth quarter of 2010 and more so into the first quarter of 2011? If you're looking to buy or invest in San Diego, amazing opportunities and now is definitely the time. I mean, everybody says, well, I'm gonna sit on the fence and wait for more to fall. Well, then you're gonna miss the market. Anybody who does that, just like they do the stock market, they miss great opportunities. So you can do that, it's up to you, but the wealth that's gonna be created and has been created over the last year and will continue through the next year or two will exceed all the wealth created in the last decade because the people that are smart in investing are taking advantage of great opportunities. They're backing their trucks up the houses and just loading houses on them because America's on sale. 
and it's a great chance to get in while interest rates are, are at unbelievable lows and the prices are historically fantastic. So if you're buying or investing, now is the time. If you're selling, it's a difficult market if you're trying to sell a traditional sale simply because whether you like it or not, you're competing with enormous amounts of short sales and people who just don't care about the value of their home because it's really they're riding on the bank's money. And so it, it's frustrating. However, you can get through it. It's a very specialized, unique market. You need somebody who's specialized in the area that your home is selling. Don't be having an East County San Diego agent represent a house in La Jolla. I mean, I understand you have family and friends and all that lovely stuff, but you need somebody who's specialized and knows the markets. Don't have somebody from La Jolla represent a house in East County. It just doesn't work. You need somebody that understands the markets inside and out, is there every day, knows why things are moving and how to get the buyers in there to get your home sold, have it show well, uh, and have it priced competitively. Um, so that's my advice. Great opportunities. I love this market. I don't care what anybody says. If it goes up 30%, down 30%, it's an amazing opportunity to take advantage of what's out there right now. So if you have any questions, go to my website, thelahoylife.com. That's thelahoylife.com. Check it out. You can get some information on me, uh, areas I represent, the things that I do to try and help families here in San Diego County. Until next time, uh, this is Justin Brennan, and have a great day.